Hi everybody, I hope everybody is doing fan dabby dozy. Now a couple of days ago I got a call from my uh, mate who owns the junk shop, Jason. He said, um, he said, he said, oh I've just done a tool haul of uh, a lot of stuff if you want to come and have a look. I'm doing a car boot on Sunday, so uh, it's Wednesday today, so this was uh, Saturday evening. Um, was, it, was it bonfire night? Yeah, bonfire night it was. Um, so he said I'm going to do a car boot in the morning. Um, but it was cancelled, the one, and he didn't end up going. But I went down there, um, and he had quite a lot of good stuff, actually. Um, he'd done quite well for himself. Um, so he, he, I said, have you ever heard of Clifton Plains? And I said, no, 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 I haven't, no. Um, never heard of it. He said, he said, when he was driving, so he Googled it, and this is what he'd found. And it's never a good sign when anybody uses Google. But this plane, it's showing some surface rust. But it's hard to describe. It's made in England. It's hard to describe how heavy it is. It's heavier than a number eight. It's 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 so heavy. It's so uh, well built. So look, I mean, look at that brass thumb screw on there on the adjuster. And look at the wood as well. It needs, you know, it's beautiful wood. Um, beautiful it doesn't the varnish is cracked I think it needs sanding and re-putting back and it's at number six Clifton made in England still made today and it's really ugh, heavy heavy duty um, I mean even the um, the leather cap is made out of brass and even got um, 36 it's even got a code on it so um, it's a pretty heavy duty old old plane uh, Clifton made in England but it's obviously the guy's garage he obviously hadn't worked for a long time because everything was just peppered in rust everything I got was absolutely peppered in oh that's unusual the way that chip breaker comes off so it was basically so he googled it and he said oh I'm going to put it on um, put it on um, on Facebook for 250 quid I said no one's going to buy it on Facebook I said they all buy strimmers and motorbike um, you know strimmers and push bikes off here so that was a bit of hassle arguing for that. Um, um, then there was this Japanese wood plane and it's from um, Axminster Tools. Now they don't sell cheap things. Um, it's in a nice box and it's this beautiful Japanese wood plane. Now I did buy some more Japanese tools but I agreed a different price for that. So this one is um, looks to be made like out of cherry. It looks like oak to me but it could be cherry. They're usually cherry but kind of quite a nice grain it's even got some Japanese writing there so it looks to be quite a nice plane and you can see the guy's been using it because he's been knocking the uh, knocking the wedge out with a with a hammer now I did actually find a Japanese hammer in there which is really cool and some other bits but they were in a different so I negotiated a price for this now I don't know why I bought that I think I just saw it and I thought he's got one I haven't and I think that was the excuse on the of the day, to be honest. Um, this Japanese plane, I've always wanted a wood Japanese plane, a nice one. So I, I was saying no, and he didn't want to sell me that, and he didn't want to sell me that. So I had to pay through the nose to buy it. And I got two other things, which I'll show you now, which are in the same lot, and then you can guess the price. So we'll have a look at the other two things. Now, the other two things are this. And now, if anyone doesn't know what this is, this is designed for cutting out um, plug sockets in, in brick and breeze block and concrete block etc um, so these are quite expensive now I, I happen to know the price of these because I've, I've bought one so this is Armeg the brand which are the top brand for this type of electrical box and um, this is seen a bit of wear but I thought I'd chuck that in because I know the price because I have actually bought one because brand new because I needed it to drill out the um, Drill out plug sockets in um, in one of my, uh, the electrician left the job and I had to go buy the tool to finish the job myself. So I do know the price of these because I bloody had to buy one brand new. I think it was about 200 quid this was. Um, so I'm imagining that's going to be at least 80 quid. So I decided to chuck that in, a little arm egg single box, um, you know, box cutter. And I also bought this, which is a, a quick clamp. But it's uh, 55 inches long, so it's really, 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 really long. Um, so basically, I bought, so I got a big long clamp. He said he had two. 
And I negotiated the price for two, but he couldn't find the other one. He said he must have left it on the job. Um, but this, they're all filthy dirty. Everything's filthy dirty. So I'm going to need to give it a good clean. I'm probably going to have to put that on eBay because I thought I actually just had a double box, but I actually haven't. So I don't need that. So I'll give that a clean and put that on eBay, try and recoup some of the money back. So basically... It was it was this long clamp which in themselves are about fifty pound, and um, this kind of very cool um, box cutting jig, and these two Japanese uh, and English planes. So put in the guess what do you think you had to pay? Now you've seen the price of the Clifton plane, so you can get an idea of the price of that one. And then I'm going to show you in the next haul. I'm going to show you what else I got off him, which was a bit better priced. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.